Hey guys, today I wanted to finally address an issue. I felt the time has come. Pico Trade is no longer as popular as it used to be, so the backlash won't be as extensive. And more to the point, YouTubers are not celebrating, promoting, or otherwise branding Pico Trade. So let's talk about this platform. What exactly changed? Actually, they made some positive changes. Uh, definitely something that I didn't expect. And you can now change your Pico points for play mats and sleeves. And that's what Magic Duels does. It makes sense. It's an outlet to get rid of points in the economy. And they should have done, done that in the beginning, have some way to change them from ma Magic product. Now there could be a huge markup where given inflation of the Pico economy, there should be. But still, people would want to do that. Now, the main change is the MTG celebrities who are supporting this. There are very few to none. Now, one of the reasons is the payout is much, much less. So let's take an example. Uh, Pico Trade offered me two deals. Uh, if I had 20,000 subscribers, if only 1% of them, and a lot of times for some YouTubers, up to 5,000 people would sign up under the YouTubers link. But let's assume 20,000 subscribers, 1% of them, which is very realistic and very low on the lower end, sign up for the trade using my special link because uh, it's uh, free points for them, free points for me. I get 350 bonus points, they get 350 bonus points. So I get $3.50 of money, if you will. So $3.50 times 200, that is $700 from just making one video in addition to if I got paid in cash, which I'm not sure, everyone's contract is probably different, or I got a lump sum payment in Pico points. So for me as a YouTuber perspective, had I taken the deal, I would have at least $1,000 in free magic cards that I didn't do anything. I just made a video, I got people into the pyramid system, and that was it. Now, that's only attractive when the value is equivalent to what you're giving up, which is promoting other products. Now there are other products out there, TCG Pro being one of them, and card shops being another one, as well as your, if you own your own card shop, why would you promote this? You know, sell me cards, right? Kind of what, kind of similar to what Darium is doing with Pokemon, where they advertise that you can ship them X amount of bulk and get a booster box, or you can buy from them. If you had your own store, why would you be promoting Pico Points? Or if you had, if you were promoting a store, or if you were promoting a system of stores, this is taking away from that uh, revenue source. So back to the point of why it kind of tanked. It tanked because everyone who had previously supported it no longer supported it. In fact, some members like Tolarium and MTG Wedge, uh, the mana source, they made videos actually stating this is a terrible service and good on them because at that time it was a very bad service. But now I think they're improving. My opinion is they're trying. People don't try until something fails. And when you are on a ship that is going under, you will work much, much harder than when everyone's like, oh, Pico Trade, you're amazing, you're awesome. And they don't criticize you. And in fact, if anyone criticized Pico Trade back then, all the big YouTubers would smack them. You know, hey, no, Pico Trade's amazing. And then the overall feeling was that if you attack Pico Trade, and this is my feeling, uh, I talked to GG Degree and uh, MTG Degree. I don't know what his name is now, I think he changed his name. And he was the first one to really call them out in a, in a noticeable way. I'm sure his video made a lot of sense to me, but people were so in love with the concept of trading junk for really good cards. Again, it's a pyramid scheme. You can only do that X many times because not everyone's gonna to want to trade good cards for junk unless they're counterfeits, right? And that's interesting. So that is a very interesting mark on Pico Trade. So back to my point about the system. The system has improved, nothing, everything has improved to make it better, 
but the MTG YouTubers are, and celebrities that, and the writers and article finance writers and all these people who said bad things about PicoTrade, they can't go back into the system because the system's not profitable for them anymore. If you sign up 5,000 people, it's not, I mean, it's, it's done. They sent a newsletter to those 500 people who signed up based on that YouTuber. And every, let's say $3, you get $3 a person. Well, $15,000 and for one video seems pretty good. Obviously you will be very positive about the program as long as you're continuing to be fed with these points and the people will ship you cards and they will ship you cards, they will ship you cards and off you go. Because for you, there's no cost. You're just sitting on, so if I did it, I would be sitting on a thousand dollars of these cards and every so often I would get a free card. Now, the good thing about this is they are changing and I have never signed up for them. They, this is the second time they've asked me to promote them. They've asked me to promote them when they first started out and I had a blog, <laughs> MTG Line blog. Uh, and I said no because it seemed a little sketch back then. And then they asked me right before MTG headquarters made his video supporting Pico Trade. They asked me to make the same video. I said no. Uh, I said no, nope, it's not for me. And I said, hey, you know, it's just not for me. Uh, they laid off. I mean, I had I have a video of it, and with all the with the emails and all that proof and. Uh, once they send the email, they can't delete it. You have a copy of it. So overall, Pico Trade has become less profitable for people who had supported it previously. And now aligning yourself with a store or aligning yourself with a uh, eBay system or a TCG player system or um, selling your own products, that's kind of the way that people are going. In the past, they did the monthly magic box. They did... Pico Trade, they supported other people who were making the lion's share of the money, but now everyone has their own way to make money uh, in the system. Uh, for me, the question is, I'm a full stack developer. <laughs> I'm kind of a famous marketer, at least in my local area. And I speak at conferences, I get stipends for that, I get to travel a lot. Uh, it's not worth the $1,000 of free Puka points for me to make a video supporting them when I don't feel like it actually makes sense. Uh, there, previously, it made a lot less sense than it does now. Now there's an, at least an outlet and they're exploring outlets to get, you know, to at least move the stuff. I mean, now you can change the Puka points for play mats and sleeves and it can be profit margins on those uh, from the Puka side. So there's an outlet to get rid of points. Now the next step would be offer real products, offer booster boxes, or offer you know tokens, or offer something that makes sense and that promotes your brand. Maybe a playmat. Playmats are exceedingly cheap to print, and they can be. Well, actually, they are doing playmats. Sorry, they're doing playmats sleeves. I I would say offer a token, offer seal boxes, uh, get a outlet to get rid of these points. And that's what they are doing. So even though right now their system economically is more stable, they are still tanking hard and will continue to do so because they don't have the support. In fact, some of the bigger YouTubers who had supported it are now against it. And they don't have a vested interest in Pico Trade because again, they have their own store merchandise, uh, t-shirts, backpacks, coffee mugs, whatever, right? And then two, they represent a store or they promote a store, or free they promote TCG Player or eBay or something like that where they get uh, a share of the cards that you buy. Um, and it's very typical, it's affiliate networking and it's something that I spoke at the largest multi-level marketing event in Las Vegas two years ago and I was shocked. You know, people are still buying Tupperware. They're not buying Tupperware, they're buying the opportunity to sell Tupperware and the dreams that go along with it and Herbalife and Avon and I can go into great detail about them because again I'm I don't know how I ended up speaking at that or even I don't even know how I ended up at that event but that was that anyway getting a phone call from my MLM lawyer probably anyway bye guys